Is there a reason why Glen Murray is so cheap? If you're a whiskey lover, there is no denying the fact right now that prices across the board seem to be going up and up with no signs of stopping. So when I have stumbled across a whiskey that is significantly cheaper than the average offering, I wanted to understand why is it priced so cheap? So today we are going to jump into a whiskey that many of you may have already heard of, and that is the Glen Murray whiskey, specifically the 12 year old. It is aged 12 years and 40% ABV. Doesn't say whether it's chill filtered or colored probably uh, full context an entry-level starter type whiskey uh, in this country is usually in the range of 90 to 100 dollars so a 10 year old age statement uh, maybe like a Lafroy or a talisker you get probably around 100 dollars um, you would probably be able to pick up comfortably a glenfiddich 12 for say 70 or 80 dollars and uh, the full size 700 ml bottle of the Glen Murray 12 is actually quite often under 60 dollars Australian so uh, very much uh, not not a slight discount a significant discount compared to what's typically on the market so with that said we are going to pour ourselves a dram and get into it and see what what I think of this uh, very, very affordable whiskey. We'll pour it all. No point saving a 50 ml sample bottle. May as well get into it, right? So it's a very much a light sort of straw golden type color. Almost like a, a sort of Sun, uh, early morning sunrise type color you can see is very gold let's begin with the nose very much a typical space eyed character first initial nose is is malt there's a sweetness the honey notes are coming through uh, sort of those uh, apples and pears It's, it's not a bad nose actually, considering how, how cheap this whiskey really is. Very much you're getting the maltiness, the honey and the pears and apples and uh, it definitely has a, a nice single malt nose to it. If I go and look online to see the different expressions of Glen Murray, they aren't just cheap at this level, they are cheap across the board. So with this one being the 12 year, this is very much at that entry level of their core lineup, but they also have a no age statement that's just, I imagine a younger version of this. Uh, there is actually also an 18 year old and a couple of different finishes. And um, the 18 is quite possibly one of the most affordable 18 year old whiskies you'll find generally in that range of, of sort of like $130, $140 from what I've seen, which is you know, significantly cheaper than, than many, many other 18 year old whiskies that, that you find in the Australian market. Let's see now if the scents that I'm getting on the nose, oh, uh, there's a little a bit of a, a different sweetness, almost like lemonade right now. That I think some people would attribute it to a like a lemon fizzy sherbet, something like that. But for me, it's very much uh, the association with lemonade. Yeah, so I mean, that's so far so good, right? It's not a bad nose, actually. Like it's nothing earth shattering. It's not complex, but I wasn't expecting that for a, uh, a whiskey in this price bracket. Okay, let's try now on the palate. 
and see what the mouthfeel and texture is like and if the same kind of uh, scents that I'm picking up on the nose uh, show up on my palette. Hmm. Okay. Very much. This is not the first time that I've tried the Glen Murray 12. My first impression when I tried it, there wasn't a lot to this whiskey. My initial impression was it was lackluster and, and uh, left me wanting and, and pretty much disappointed. And I, I, I figured I got what I paid for, right? On, on this uh, review with you guys right now, it's surprisingly not lacking given that it's only 40% ABV. There is still uh, a good little kick to it. Uh, it's not a long finish. It's probably uh, not quite medium, but it's not a short and sharp finish. You're getting the malt is there. The, the uh, oak is coming through. It's grassy. It's very much, it, it, it's for what it is, it's not bad. This whiskey is very much positioned for the, you know, the entry level market. Most certainly it's not something that a, a flavor chaser or a whiskey hunter would go after. But having said that, it's not disappointing either, because if you come into this experience with the right set of expectations, you will most certainly um, be pleasantly surprised. Getting notes of pineapple now on the nose as well. Okay, let's try now on the second sip and the finish and see how the uh, whiskey in my glass has opened up. Mm. As I move the whiskey around my palate, I'm very much getting the the dryness the oakiness almost like a pine wood note uh there's that overlap the lemon and the barley there's there's a little bit of a sharpness to it it's not an a abv sharpness it's very much that astringency the little bit of the wood notes it's it's actually you know not bad like i i wouldn't i wouldn't go hunting for the glen murray 12 if you're the kind of person right now that you're looking to save a little bit of money and still enjoy a decent whiskey, then I would absolutely recommend this whiskey for that kind of that kind of connoisseur, that enthusiast. If you are the type of whiskey drinker that is chasing complexity and flavor and, and different notes that you can take time and, and pick apart with the dram, then I wouldn't recommend this for you. And most likely, if you're in that camp, you're probably not even looking at, at whiskeys that are under $100, especially in, in Australian prices. Yeah, it definitely is a whiskey for a certain, um, a certain market, but yeah, much better than I expected, right? I, I, I've got to say, I'm pleasantly surprised with the Glen Murray 12. So if you see this, it's definitely worth picking up a sample or maybe trying at a bar. Like I think this sample cost me $7, something around that range. I'm not going to go out and go buy the the full size bottle, um, but yeah, absolutely, it's it's still very much an enjoyable single malt whiskey. So uh, thank you guys for checking this one out. I hope that if you are a whiskey enthusiast on a budget, this has given you some value and a whiskey to potentially look at that you might have overlooked previously because it's so low priced. If you've enjoyed this video tasting and review today, please leave a like on the video. This is to you. Cheers. May all your whiskey be tasty and plentiful. Slancha.